Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lignus Monster. Today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends Spider Man No Way Home Integrated Suit Spider Man. This is an awesome looking figure, and uh, obviously, I did just see Spider Man, of, I believe it was Thursday night, so opening night. And uh, I am a huge fan of this movie, so this might contain some spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home, so if you haven't seen it, I suggest clicking away and coming back after you've seen it. But uh, nevertheless, we're just going to go ahead and get right into this review. So, of course, it does have that amazing No Way Home logo on the front there. also says Spider-Man in a different font, looking pretty nice. Flipping it over to this side, we do have an amazing image of Spider-Man looking great there. Flipping it around to the back, we do have another amazing image of Spidey here, looking nice in a really cool web-slinging pose. And we actually do have uh, a bio here on the back too, you can pause and read it if you'd like. Moving down here a little bit, we actually do have the figure lineup for this way, which is something I wish uh, Black Series would do more of. I do really love the whole like figure lineup of everything in the wave. For only four of them are from No Way Home, one of them is from Miles Morales video game, of course that is Miles. And then another two of them are just comic figures, and this is a pretty banger wave when it does come to Spider-Man figures. I am just really loving this wave. We do actually have the Build-A-Figure and all the different parts and figures that it comes with. Unfortunately, Spider-Man here doesn't come with any of those Build-A-Figure parts, but I guess that might be good because I didn't plan on getting the rest of the wave anyway. But yeah, he does look super cool. Let's go ahead and uh, get him out of the box. So we got Spider-Man out of the box here, and this is just a cool pose that I wanted to put him in. This is the Toby pose, as uh, some could say, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of this figure. It looks incredible. It is a brand new sculpt from head to toe, and uh, yeah, I think it is pretty accurate to the movie. There's a few things that it's not accurate, and I will point those out, but yeah, this, this suit just does look absolutely amazing. I am, uh, like I said, I'm really loving it, so let's go ahead and uh, let this guy spin around a few more times and we'll take him off the sand and take a closer look but yeah he looks incredible I'm so glad they decided to do a brand new mold um, I think it came out super well I think one thing I maybe would have liked is a little bit more color in the webbing on the figure but other than that it looks great so let's go ahead and take him off the stand and uh, take a closer look So taking a closer look at this figure like I said it is a new mold head to toe and I think it came out incredible so uh, one thing I did notice right off the bat is mine actually does have a little bit of a misprint on the eye there has a little like notch mark thing in the eye not a big deal but something I did notice anyway uh, so this is I guess technically a spoiler for the movie this is actually just the far from home suit with some gold from the uh, Iron Spider suit over top of it, so that's why it's called the integrated suit because it is just a normal Spider Man suit with the Iron Spider integrated over it. And I think this looks absolutely incredible, and I think you can actually definitely tell that in like the detail of the sculpt where all like the the, the red and the uh, black slash I guess dark gray parts are a, like softer, more rubbery kind of plastic, I want to say, as the um the silver part or the gold parts are more of a harder plastic it doesn't it's more of a glossy texture to it as well as the normal suit is more of a matte texture and i love that detail it makes it look like it's two different materials and i absolutely love that it does only come with two accessories unfortunately it does come with uh his fisted hand and a flipping web hand both of them are great i do wish it maybe came with this a standard like open hand like he could grab onto stuff maybe like some webs I did wish it would have come with some webs as well I think webs are super cool and it's been something I'd love to see uh, with the spider-man figure and the only other accessory that I think uh, would have been nice for it to come with is a Tom Holland head um, I know that the normal far from home suit does come with the Tom Holland head and I wish this one came with one too but it is what it is it does look incredible though taking a brief look at articulation he can hit past 90 on his arm which is incredible he also can go this high up if you do want to lift it up can go all the way around of course he does have a swivel right at the bicep he also does have a swivel at the end of the bicep right there and he also does have butterfly joints which is super cool so he does have a nice movement right there flip it over here he does have a crunch at the abs and a swivel at the waist this is one thing that i really can't stand with marvel figures um not all marvel figures have it for example the mark III iron man suit doesn't but uh, this one does and it's just something i don't like i much prefer for example the mark III iron man suit just has a pretty much a random at a ball at i guess at the the abs where you can 
move it in any direction and that's something that I think has a lot of posability compared to uh, compared to this where you can only move it up and down and left and right you can't get any like side to side on it and that's something that a lot of Star Wars figures have but not a ton of Marvel figures do and I wish that's something that would have maybe considered for a Spider-Man figure just because he gets in a lot of intricate poses and stuff like that but it is what it is um, they're obviously limited by some uh, other Spider-Man molds that they already have but his legs can kick up pretty far and he has uh, double jointed pinless knees which looks incredible I love the pinless look I know um, that's something Hasbro is starting to do they're starting to switch to all pinless figures and it looks incredible and I really love what they're doing with that and then of course he has pivots and rockers at the ankles so yeah pretty good articulation on this it is pretty solid one pose that I really try to get him into uh, the figure just fell over is the Tom Holland pose is what I call it where he's kind of stretched out like this one arm up and the other arm on the ground for one we don't really have the hand molds I, I wish we had like a sticky hand mold like like that for one but two uh, he just doesn't get far enough down he can't ab crunch down far enough to to hit to pretty much reach the ground and even if he did then his head would be looking straight down and not far enough up so i mean it is what it is it's just a pretty iconic spider-man pose and i wish that's something we could get on this figure but it is what it is still looks incredible though and even like this he looks great even though he's not touching the ground just for comparison here it is uh the integrated suit next to into the spider-verse gwen and miles these are the only other two Spider-Man figures that I have, and I do hope to get more. I do hope to get a Toby and an Andrew figure in the future. I am really hoping that they decide to re-release Toby and Andrew, or remake them, whatever you want to do it. I hope they make a whole new No Way Home wave just to begin with. I think that uh, Toby and Andrew need to get made. I think the new comic suit from the very end needs to get made into a wave. And then I think a few of the villains need to get made as well. I think Doc Ock is a necessity. And I think Green Goblin is also a necessity for a Marvel Legends wave. I think, you know, some of the other ones like Electro, Sandman, uh, Lizard, they can get made. I wouldn't complain if they did. But I think Doc Ock and Green Goblins are necessities. Plus, of course, you got Toby, Andrew, and then the new comic suit. All of those, I think, are necessities for a new no way home wave and hopefully we get that in the future but until then this is what we got and then last up for comparison here is tom i guess tom i keep calling him tom here is uh peter parker i guess next to tony stark end game both look amazing and uh yeah i uh don't have the iron spider suit yet and i think that's one i might have to pick up because i uh, i do really like the iron spider suit for marvel legends and uh yeah, this one is incredible, so I can only imagine what the Iron Spider suit is like. But yeah, they look great together. It's definitely interesting to see how much taller Tony is than Spider-Man. But yeah, I'm uh, definitely in love with this figure. So overall, I do really like this figure, and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I love the new mold for it. It is mostly accurate. Only really thing that's inaccurate are the fingers, which uh, the hands should be black and the fingers should be red. But other than that, it is very accurate to the movie, and I am just loving this figure. It feels great to hold. It has really good articulation, and uh, I am a big fan of it. So like I said, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, what do you want to call it? It's all the same. And yeah, I highly recommend you pick this up if you can. I know I got it off GameStop. I actually got it on sale. I believe it was in stock for about $19 on sale on GameStop.com. So yeah, try to find this figure if you can because it looks great. And I cannot wait to get some more No Way Home Waves in the future.